guys who get scared seeing a packaged food because you have memory of an influencer coming and tell you packaged food is all crap or you have seen an influencer who is coming and telling you should only have home food food my attempt today is to help you look at by yourself what is there in good in either or what is there bad in either so let's just take uh, uh, muesli we have said sambar idli and the paratha the problem with western cereal is the way the formulation has been made and the one which was brought to india by the brand when they started creating western uh, cereals as a category there is lots of sugar in it right except for let's say central belt we don't have very sweet for breakfast high sweet stuff is not our breakfast right so the problem here is only sugar as long as you are not touching anything which is hyper processed so let me see, break it up what is muesli it's a mix of grains there is flattened oats wheat flakes and in our case jowar what do we do to flatten it we steam it and we flatten it then we roast it that's the only process which happens to this and post that there is a mixing mixing with seeds and fruits process wise if you look at the temperature exposure both are net net same so that means there is marginal difference in terms of the nutritional loss because of processing second what is there in it now if you look at let's say uh, idli it's a high carb load okay it's good we need carbs it's a healthy carbs as long as you are not using highly processed white rice it's healthy carbs but here you have mix of three grains you have dry fruits you have if you are picking up the right muesli let's 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 look at what is that we have now this is the muesli which has got freeze dried fruits in it why do we use freeze dried fruits let's look at any of our competition if you look at the muesli ingredient you will see candied fruits candied fruits is fruits with sugar and ascorbic acid what we do is freeze dried fruit that is take the fruit to sublimation point remove the water so when you actually rehydrate it will actually look and taste like fruits we add a bit of honey into it as a sweetener because we have a zero added sugar muesli where even the wheat flakes uh, while processing a malt has to be added we are not added that that means completely zero sugar there is no sugar in any format but you might get goo by somebody will claim it is zero added sugar but they will add sugar alcohol they will add jaggery in our no added sugar muesli there is nothing in sugar in whatever format it might be so if you are looking at actually muesli you could look at that that means you will get grains you will get fruits you will get dry fruits which you may not get in let's say an indian breakfast do respect i had today morning idli but you don't have to make all the western stuff a uh, uh, villain just for the sake that some influencer told you look at the processing i told you the process of a grain which is gone through before it comes into this pack in our case visa with an idli or a paratha so don't trust me look at the ingredients understand the process and then you you choose yourself if you are going for a workout you need sugar have granola it's okay sugar is not a villain we need some sugar when it goes beyond the threshold is where the problem is so i am not an influencer i am making my living i am educating you don't trust me read the ingredients understand the process thank you